Hey guys, it's Hello. Robert and Donna from Holler Bread Kennels. Uh, we just gonna let you know that we can't hunt very long at all tonight, but we, uh, Jonna decided she wanted to bring Trey out tonight, so we're gonna drop him, see if we can't get a coon tree, get one out to him uh, for the start of this season. But uh, I, it kind of worries me because I've already seen these deer hunters. Uh, I know they're out everywhere. I've heard their guns and stuff, and I, uh, which don't get me wrong, guys, I like deer hunting too, but I just don't like doing it some ways guys do it around here, man. They'll drop. Scraps and stuff right at the mouth of these roads right here and yeah. sit on the blacktop and hope to kill one. That is about as dirty as it gets. That's what we was just talking about. There's all kinds of apples over here. Somebody cut up and peeled and stuff over That's here to the left of me. Just, just to try to come up here on this road, this blacktop road, and kill one. Now, guys, I don't agree with that. Just the same as I don't agree no, with... I just think I'm so mad right now. Yeah, just the same as I don't agree with somebody right. uh, taking a, a, a finished a finished hound and putting on a cage coon or putting on a on a feeder. I don't agree with that, guys. You know, I believe in giving them their chance, their sporting chance now. I mean, I love training a coon, but if I got to do it crooked, I'm not going to do it. Just like deer hunting. I believe I, I believe I love killing a deer. I love having one in the freezer. But if I got to do it crooked, I won't have one. But guys, let's get him loose anyways, and let's see if we can't try a coon. Guys, um, we let Trey out. Showed him, you know, where we wanted him to go and stuff, and he's up there right now. But this is what. There's my dog. He struck. He just struck, literally. Show me a map of field. Look at this. Now this, this makes me sick. Let me show you something else. Why it makes me sick. Check it out. There's the road. They're wanting to come down the road and be able to just see one in their vehicle and just shoot it. Oh, my God. But that this right here is what we're talking about. This uh, BS right here. But he is struck. You guys got to hear it. Hold on. Told you, be a good spot. We let him out. He's up that way. How far is he? I don't know. You got the garments. Not garments in the truck. One second, y'all, and we'll tell you how far away he is. Guys, he's 130 yards. 130 yards away, guys. What, well, I think so. No, it's bouncing. But that's there what he is, 130 yards, 130 guys. 131 yards, yep. He's working that track, doing a good job, too. Uh, I knew it's would be a good spot. Uh, this is where Jax just treated that coon out the other night, but we dropped on it completely different. Instead of going our way up and letting him come around, we dropped him right on that same point. Yeah. So... I'm 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 thinking that he'll get one tree pretty quick here, hopefully. If not, you know, he which he's already running a good race, so if nothing else, he'll put it in a hole or something. But he should get treed up quick. Yeah. Can't you hear him? Anyways, I was just wanting to show y'all that, and it just so happened that he struck up. I was doing it. Yeah, that's bull, man. I, I just don't believe in stuff like oh that. Oh, my gosh. And, I mean, literally. These people around there, here, though, guys. It they, is. They want they want the name of killing a deer. And I could tell you several people if I wanted to name their names around here. But they want the name of killing a big, nice deer. But they don't want to They don't want to work for they it. They don't want to have to hunt for it. That's they, cat. That's uh, They want to, you know, I know this one guy, for instance, drives his truck all year long. Until he sees one, he'll jump right out of the truck and kill it, and then get get another feather to even load it for him, and then he's got his deer. I just don't believe in that guy. See how many now, steps this is from the road, for real. This will bring coons in, one, too, but still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen steps to the road. Stuff like that just makes me mad, and I'm vocal. And, I don't know. But we was just talking about it, and I just want to show y'all what we, you know, what we was talking about. We're going to move them. 
<laughs> sure am. Just to be honest with you guys, I know That's somebody's going to get right. peed, but we're going to move them. At least that way they can't, they won't know where we put them. So, uh, I just don't believe in that, guys. I'm sorry if it makes anybody mad over doing that. You know, if you want to bait your really animals, or not, to then, be then you know what, bait them. But now, if you, you know, I, it's one thing being out in the out in the mountains baiting them, but if you want to bait them at the black top, now come on, guys, put some sportsmanship in it. That's just not given, you know. I don't know. Which I have a problem with killing animals anyways, as you guys know. If you've seen the one before last, you'll remember. Sounds like he's getting Sounds ready like he's getting ready to tree though, guys. So we're going to listen and be right back. Be right back. <laughs> guys, we just made it to Trey. He's treed right here. And this big massive tree, look at this thing. I don't know if we're going to have any luck or not, but I tell you what, he sure picked a good one. Watch him stand on that tree with that one front leg, guys. He'll stand right there and hammer down. Good, good job, Trey. He's all right, John. You know where he's got, where he had his to take it out, Yeah, he's all right. Good, uh, good job, buddy. Get no, on there. Speak to it, son. Get on that tree, Trey. Speak to it, buddy. I know, son. Guys, I'll tell you right there, next to Jack's, that right there is our best ham. Son, I'll tell you what, now, we've treated a lot of coons that old dog right there, too, ain't we, Johnna? He's just, where he's got three legs, he's just a tad bit slow, guys, but now. We just let him out when I done the second segment yep. and showed the apple, the yep. apple peels, right? But now, we treat the coons with that old dog, don't we? But guys, let me see if I can find it and I'll be back with you. Hey guys, as we can look for it, I don't know if you can see it or not, but look that big green snake laying in that tree right there, guys. Scared me to death. I hope y'all can see that. It's right here. I know. I'm putting my light over to where they might be able to. Shine yours right on it. I am. You see that, guys? Ross, there ain't no snake in that tree. I said, hey, Ross. Yeah, I didn't think there was. Did I look? But, yeah, it's a green snake, guys. But, yeah, I was going to show you that real quick. But we're going to continue looking for this coon. That's pretty neat. I figured they all be in by now. But Lord have mercy. But, guys, I'll be back with you in a minute. Hey, y'all. Um, We was looking for it. And we heard where we're parked. We're actually, like, parked, like, in the road because there's no really anywhere else to park. We heard a vehicle come up behind it. So, Rob had to gra grab a tray real quick. Oh, God. And he's going to go onto the truck to see who that was. We've got the truck locked and everything, but around here, that doesn't mean anything. But look where we're at. We're in like, oh, Lord, I'm going to fall away and watch. Ugh. I thought snakes were in. I'd have never dreamed. But look where we're at. We're like, there's this big tree that goes up. I need my light back. Mine's better. We're just in, and there's another one, and they all connect, and they're all green. We really did not have time to check them all. But he's dead set. That tree's huge, John. It is. And look, look at the one. There's that huge one. That one. This one. This one. And then there's these two, you know, CMI ones. That one and that one. I don't know if you guys can see. I hope you can. I'm sorry. I've got his light. I like mine better. But we're in a mess. And look at this road. Like, it's sketchy. Straight up and down. And my husband left me to fend for myself. Knowing I don't have much tread on these mucks. But guys, I think what we're going to do is throw him in the box and and uh, reset. Go somewhere else. See if we can treat something else, okay? We will be right back. Well, guys, we're up here at our second drop. We was going to let you know that uh, that first drop there, guys, we, uh, what happened is, is I, it was a humongous tree, and I was trying to get to where I could see it. I heard a vehicle coming up the road. And we was parked right on the blacktop pretty well. So uh, I went down there because 
If you knew the people up here, you'd understand what I'm saying. I don't trust nobody up in here. They'll rob you blind, won't they? So, uh, guys, knock your I... Knock windows out and take what they want. Yeah, they'll knock your windows out and everything just to do it. So, guys, I tried to hurry and get back to the truck and grab the dog. Uh, waited on John and there to get back. And then, uh, we come on up here to our second drop. We're going to walk them around this pool a little bit, guys. Hopefully... Uh, if he gets treated around through here, guys, we can find this one. If I, I guarantee, because I was nuts and stuff up there, if I'd have had a minute, I'd have found that one because it was it was all acorns too, wasn't it? All the way around, he was actually treated in a big acorn tree. But you never know, guys. But what I'm saying is, is hopefully out here we can find one uh, if he gets treated, and uh, we won't have to rush like we did down there because we won't be parked on the blacktop. But. We'll be back with you in a few if you get struck. Well, guys, we just made it back uh, to the house. We, uh, I was going to give you a quick recap. We had to come home, guys. Donna, uh, you know, like I've said the last few nights, she's been having those bad migraines. And she's got another one that just started up on her. So we decided to come on home. But uh, Trey struck, run a beautiful race at first drop. And got in there and got treed. We went up there. I'm about positive he had it, guys. But I had to take off because my truck was on the blacktop. And I heard somebody coming. And like we said, we don't trust nobody up here, man. You can't. You can't because I've I've seen too many windows busted out and everything, guys. So uh, I had to rush back down there. And then uh, we went on up, went, went on up there and made that second drop. Second drop. And uh, he got in there and run a code track. Uh, he never tried to tree under nothing, guys. So Thank I don't, gosh. I don't know what yes. happened, but uh, he was low. So I'm kind of glad he didn't, don't yeah. you? Because that's when her migraine hit and stuff, guys. And we was a long ways through there. So uh, I'm uh, from Walking the truck. It. Yeah, we was about yeah. what 600 yards from the truck. Yes. So I'm glad yeah. I'm glad he didn't, guys. But uh, anyways, I was just gonna let you know and uh, let you know that uh, we'll be doing another hunt here in a night or two, guys. Uh, Sorry we couldn't get you no more footage because we got to get up super early. We and up at like 4 and it's like 11.30 right now. Yeah, and, and like I said, so. she's got one of the bad migraines again, guys. So I'm going to let her finish this out, though. I was going to say, um, you know, it bothered me. Like, I'll say things and then I'll be like, you know, you shouldn't have said that. I have a real bad problem with that. And I said earlier in the video that, you know, because he said, well, I don't mean to, you know, like offend anybody about like, baiting stuff in and I said I really don't care and at the time I really did because I was so upset about it um but no I do if I offended anybody I am sorry I, I do care because you know we love you guys and it, really I don't think that anybody that really watches us would do that anyways no you know because they're all good people but I do apologize for that and um about Trey's leg if this is the first time you're watching um I was just going to explain real quick what happened to his leg um, he's got, you know, the two in the back and the one in the front. He had to have the other one amputated. That light's killing me. He had to have the other one amputated. He got it stuck in a barbed wire fence in Fleming County. Um, and they had to amputate it. He was such a good dog, you know, they wanted to, we wanted to go ahead and just. It, it was about cutting two by the time they got to him. Yeah. So, yeah, they want nothing they could do to save it. Yeah. Now, we just wanted to explain, you know, that to you in case, you know, this is the first time that you're watching. But. Right. Um, I'm going to grab my stuff and um, get in the house and take some Motrin. Well, I guys, need some migraine. hopefully we'll catch you in a couple uh, couple ni a night or two. So, uh, guys, just remember to keep her, her in your prayers yes, and stuff for the migraines. But until please next time, do. guys. At those hounds. See y'all. Bye.